3D paper star tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as I had promised you, I'm going to show you quickly uh, in a short video how I made those paper stars that I had hanging amongst the paper rosettes and garlands. So first you need this template and I found this template on um, Pinterest and I'm going to place a link down below uh, for anyone who is interested in printing this out and making these. So you have this and you need to cut out five of these. So keep this as your template and then you're going to use this to trace out on the different sheets, five of them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I should mention that I'm using cardstock. You could use paper, but paper will be too flimsy. So the best thing to use is at least 65 pound cardstock. So I'm going to take my template and I'm going to cut it out. Now you're only going to cut along the solid line because the dotted lines are for the fold and you're also going to cut here. Okay. Now that you have your template, if you want you can go ahead and laminate this if you plan to make these more often. And I'm going to put this on here and I'm just going to use this to cut it out. Now you could trace it and cut it out, but I find this is just quicker. Okay, so now that I have all five cuts, I'm going to use this to score my, my dotted lines. I have these type of tools but you can, like I did with my rosettes, you can use a spoon or really anything to score using your ruler. Okay, and so you, I don't know if you can see it in here, but the score lines are there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all five. Now if you don't want to do that, you could just, um, I mean, it's not thick enough, but you can follow, go underneath and follow the lines and just fold them. But I can't really see mine, so... Okay, and then all you're going to do is fold along these score lines. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to glue, hot glue it here, like this, okay? And these ones are going to fold upwards. Okay. These two are going to fold upwards. So the rest fold this way and then these two fold upwards. Okay, so I have all five of my stars here. I have to take my hot glue gun. I'm just going to glue these two ends together. Like that. Okay. And then what you can do, take your hole puncher, or if you have like nice punches to make nice designs, and just start punching using your flaps this way. I'm doing it rough, <laughs> so you might want to pattern it better, but it's a general idea. Now you don't have to do this stuff. I like to do this because I will show you in the end how I like to string lights inside of this so it can illuminate the star. That way you can tie them into a garland. You can just hang them individually in different places. 
and you can make it light up so it looks really pretty. And this can be used for those of you who celebrate Christmas, you could do this for Christmas as well. It doesn't have to be for Eve. Okay, and then you're going to start joining these together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this side that has this flap. You're going to take this side that does not have the flap. So the flap is always going to be towards your right. And you're going to glue them together like that. Okay, so. together like that okay and then you're going to turn it around and do the same on the back side okay so you have two joined pieces I'm going to go ahead and do that for each one Now this is the last star, so I'm going to glue it here like this, one side, and then again the back side, and then I'm going to show you what I do in the end before I glue. Okay. Now if you're going to leave it as like this, then by all means go ahead and glue this last flap into place but I'm going to glue only one side of this and I'm going to glue this front side Ugh, sorry it's a little messy because I'm just trying to rush through it I'm just trying to show you quickly so just be careful when you're doing it but I'm going to leave this back side flap, I'm going to leave it open. And the reason I'm going to leave it open is so that I can string lights through it. What you can do is stick these lights in. Now this will look nicer if you have regular yellow iridescent lights. These are white, they won't look as nice, but they will work for this they'll do the trick for this tutorial and then there you go so then you have a lit up star as well okay so if i just turn these lights off for a minute and here you have a lit up star so you can see it's been lit up Like I said, that's that's up to you. You don't have to do it that way. You can just leave them solid. And then what I did with mine that I have in this image is um, I spray painted it gold to match my my rosette backdrop. Okay, so it's that simple. It's so easy to make. Uh, you do need the template, so click down below and get a link to that template. And let me know how yours turned out. <laughs>